What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. All right, today we're gonna be switching up gears. Um, I got a lot of parts to clean up on the uh, LS engine that are super dirty, so for now, um, I am gonna do a little quick video on some uh, some sign molding trims that I've been needing to put on the OBS, some outer fender wheel trim, and also some badging, but we do need to wash her up. She's been pretty dirty, so let's give her a bath and uh, shine her all up. Alright guys, I got some uh, badging to put back on the truck. Uh, this is a part number there, it's from Amazon. It's for, uh, it's a two piece, it's a silver cab emblem for a Tahoe CK series blazer, new. But I'll show them to you real quick. It's a two piece, they go on the cab on the pillar. Okay guys, I just put some masking tape right here. The emblem will go right here in the center. And just be super careful. Just make sure you center it. And I opted for these because these have a actual silver instead of the gold which this came with and it has a protective coating peel these off take off my scotch tape voila all right guys same thing with this one and i chose uh silver because it matches my wheels there we are okay guys this is the uh, side trim that we're going to be putting on this is the part number there and it's the side trim that goes along the bottom of the edge of the uh, OBS so it looks like after you pull off the blue but other than that uh, we got to put on the the outside uh, wheel wheel trims, which are the little chrome strips. These I did get from uh, the Orange County uh, truck shop. What is it called? Let me see. I'll look it up on my phone here. Okay, these are from the uh, truck shop, car shop in the city of Orange. So they got a nice little website. They're local to me, but uh, they got a whole catalog on anything you need for your uh, OBS so downloadable all right this is a full catalog of uh, Suburbans Tahoe's uh, short beds whatever you need so make sure you hit them up uh, again this is the truck shop car shop in the city of Orange they have all your parts that's where I got these these are about $15 a piece for each one so let's tack these on and then we'll start cutting up the molding and get that put on as well
done getting the side ready for the trim. You can see a faint line where the old trim used to be. This goes right below it. So let's get that going. Okay, and the way I'm doing this, all I'm using is a razor blade. New one, fresh. So this is a piece that I had uh, previously cut where I messed up. I just have a mallet. All the way through. This will give you a perfect line every time. you line it up straight it will be a really straight cut every time okay now we got to get this other side to match it'll fit pretty good but we're gonna trim one of these up just a little bit I think okay guys we got to put the uh, other fender trim on the whole inside of the fender well is gone which was uh, pointless someone didn't know what they were doing and the paint also started flaking off right here on the edge because they cut it and pushed it back so I'm going to put the fender trim back on. Okay guys, and I've tested these before. They seem to be okay, but they, they wobble a bit at the top, as you can see. So I got some uh, self-tapper screws. I gotta find somewhere to zip into. here nothing here the tires obviously not gonna hit the trim either of course this is the next day I lost some sunlight so sorry to put some of the trim on there let's get the rest of it done okay I'm gonna take some quick measurements goes all the way to the door edge starts right there so it's about Say four and three fourths. No, three and three fourths. Three and three fourths. Measure this across. Should be about four inches. Uh, it's a little over. It's all right. It's okay. One 
line it up with your other one. Okay, and you can see here, we obviously have a little bit of trimming to do right here. So we're just gonna open up the door and trim these. Okay, and this is the first one we're gonna do. We're just gonna clean it up so it's nice and straight. Got this piece left to go. All right there. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it at uh, 24 inches. Two feet or 24 inches. Okay, so. I'll peel these off one at a time. Let's try and peel it up. And this one you're gonna peel down. Like that, so the tape's on the bottom, tape's on the top. Okay, so both sides of the tape are up, and you can pull this strip off. I'll give you a little wiggle room. to line it up with the other one. And then same thing goes on the bottom. Pull your tape down. Voila. Voila, it's all pretty straight. I just have this uh, back piece to put on. Okay guys, <laughs> from what I've seen and the pictures I've I researched, I also got some information at the junkyard. I took a few pictures. The bottom trim will stop at the, at the end of, of the beginning of the tail light. So we're gonna go just straight down. Stop there, 20, almost two feet. 20, one, 20 inches. That's what we're gonna go with. All right, we're gonna move the tape again, like the same thing we did. All right, guys. All the protective coating is clear to come off. All right, there she is. One side down, the other one to go. All right guys, we're all done with both sides.
I got the outer trim for the wheel wheels put on. All the molding is on. Got the little badging on. Give you a quick walk around. And that is going to do it for this one. As always, comment, like, share, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram at lowlifeyunkers. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.